to finishing college and being adults or something like that. It was 6 a.m. and I couldn't fall back asleep. So I decided to wake up and go for a run. For whatever reason, this run literally made me so happy. And I think it was because Cambridge was so empty. And I don't know, it just felt like a fresh start, finally. I feel like also maybe it's because I've now had a long enough time to recover from like three straight days of drinking. But I made a pact with myself that even though it is the second to last week of classes, that I will not be participating in drinking until Friday night. And it is Monday today, so it'll be a week. This is you guys. I love you guys. It is such a beautiful day today, so warm in Cambridge, and I actually think the sun is here to stay this time. So we're doing a couple of things today. I need to finish a final paper by 9 p.m., which we could easily knock out in a couple hours. But then I also need to list a couple things for my senior sale, and then also we'll be selling all of my artwork that I've created this year. Stay tuned for that. It'll be my first time actually selling anything I've ever painted. So that's exciting. But right now I will just pack some lunch and then head out. So before I go, I want to show you guys my outfit because I think it is so cute. This dress from Princess Polly and I bought it for my Asia trip, but since it is literally like 75 degrees today, I thought I would wear it. And then my super gross Air Forces, of course. I made myself a matcha latte. I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye! Oh my god, really good job on finishing all your classes. <laughs> Congratulations, Kate. <Kayden. laughs> and the plan now is to do some errands. We're gonna go get coffee, CVS to grab some toothpaste, and uh, then go to Cabot Science Library to pick up some camera equipment. Oh my god, I don't know if I'll go to Cabot, that's so far. Wait, isn't there a fair though? Is that still today? Oh, my last assignment has been submitted. Which one is it? It was my AI paper. I only have like five more pages to write, so it wasn't that bad, but I bought myself a smoothie to yeah, congratulate me. Oh yeah, a lot of people bought my senior stuff. Happy API! Mm -hmm. It's too hot. Deep cleaning before mint. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've only heard it on TikTok. I like always wondered if they become popular through TikTok or if they're popular so people make TikToks. This one's probably a little popular and then it's probably a little popular. Is it a trend song? Yeah, it is. Six minutes before we get started. So I'm back home now and I just cooked dinner for Matthew, Dylan, and I. They were craving spamasubi, so I offered to make them some and have them over for dinner in exchange for them bringing me a couple of large packing boxes for moving out. First we have our spamasubi and then I made some spicy mayo to go with it. Finally, I have this fried rice with Chinese sausage that my mom taught me how to make. She's my favorite. Oh my jeez. Spamasubi and fried rice. Oh my jeez. Uh -huh. Wait, is it recording now? Yeah, it is. Hello, my name is Matthew. Yo, Dylan. And we're here to eat. We did nothing. Yes, but they did bring over this wine and some boba. Did you get your essay done? Nope. Oh. <laughs> That's tonight. Tonight job. It is a tonight job. I feel like essays write faster at night. Okay, well. What are you watching? Enjoy. Oh, Modern I was watching Family. Modern Family. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. We're gonna eat. Ugh. I didn't hear the whole thing. Your ears must be. This is Dylan's class. To Dylan. finishing college and being adults or something like that. I will not be participating in drinking until Friday night. Chill. So it seems like we have reached the end of the day. I'm feeling pretty tired. I'm sure you are too. But I feel like I've gone through a roller coaster of emotions these past couple days. And I just wanted to document this for myself, but also to maybe share some experiences that might resonate with you guys too. So I'll start off by talking to you guys about how I personally measure my happiness every single day. And it definitely exists on a spectrum, but when I wake up, I usually feel one of two things, either excited or exhausted. And when I go to bed every day, I either feel one of two things, excited or exhausted. And a combination of these two factors usually clues me in to how I'm doing mentally and what I need to be doing to fix that. Like I said earlier, this week was just like, ups and downs of like being excited to wake up and then like by 3 p.m. wishing it were midnight and I could just start the day over because I felt like I would ruined it. And like I said, the past couple days have been a roller coaster because I was switching back and forth from like excited to exhausted so often. I knew something was wrong. Although I thought all of this was happening because I was graduating soon and there was just so much to do. A majority of the stressors in my life and I'm sure in a lot of yours are actually not really due to the assignments and the deadlines. It was more so with the relationships I was having with people and the relationship that I had with myself. And I'm not saying that the deadlines aren't stressful because they are, but I do think it's worth checking in on those relationships when you are feeling down. Because at least for me, when I am reassured that my support system will always be there, everything feels better. And I can really focus and move forward with my work. I really hope that made sense. I just talked for like 10 minutes and I need to condense this down because I said I was gonna keep it short. So hopefully it is short. How can I sum this up? TLDR, when you're feeling too in your head, talk to the people you trust and I think they can make you feel a lot better. If you don't have people that you feel comfortable talking to, then I think journaling is a really good alternative too because sometimes all it takes is getting those thoughts outside of my brain and reading them over and hearing 
how ridiculous I sound and how awful I am to myself. Anyway, that's a whole other topic. My boyfriend just finished this book and recommended it to me, saying that it was pretty good. Probably really behind. I feel like everyone has already read this, but I will get started on this. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye!